episode today we're going to do, I think, a pretty simple tutorial. I kind of just want to focus on my wing. I want to do a colorful wing. I just asked on Instagram if you guys wanted an orangey yellow wing or like a bluish wing and I have my ColourPop little liner sitting out there already. So today we're going to jump in. We're going to do a full face tutorial. I'm going to do a thing. All the things. I mean, I might skip through brows because brows are boring. And I suck at it. But anyway, we are going to jump in. Please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now trying for more than Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe four days. Maybe five days. I don't know. I'm going to do my best. So let's just jump in to the tutorial. All right. So I have already primed my face. Really, I well, I've kind of partially primed my face. I have moisturized. I have put on eye cream. I put the Cover FX Mattifying Primer on my nose, which I do every single day. I'm almost out. I definitely need to pick up another one of these little guys. This thing has lasted me for forever, though, and this is like the mini version. I hope I can find the mini again because it's such a good price point. I guess I should prime my cheeks a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of the Revolution Pro Featherweight Primer. And per usual, gosh, show yourself a little bit of love, you know? I usually put basic primers on my cheeks just for smoothness, not really, I don't really, I have pretty dry cheeks. Feeling a little crazy today. I think I'm gonna use the CYO Life Proof. Yes, I have heard it's being discontinued. That's so sad. I really do love this foundation. I think that the Revolution Conceal and Fine definitely still has my heart, but this is like the closest thing to that. This one's a little more dewy for me and that one's a little bit more soft matte. I'm trying to wear a little bit less foundation because I sometimes go a little overboard. So this is just one pump. So let's see if you can make one pump work. This is the Shop Miss A sponge. Mine is looking rough. I definitely need to order a new one. So I'm gonna see how far this one pump will go. I'm just gonna blend it out. You guys, we hit 15K on Instagram. So thank you to any of you guys that have come to follow me there. It means the world. And we are just about, as I'm filming this, about to hit 60K on YouTube, which is so exciting. So exciting. I feel like the growth has been so slow and there's actually a little bit of growth happening and it makes me so happy. I'm so excited to see our little family here grow. It is such a pretty finished foundation. I remember this concealer being really, really fair on me, but I kind of want to use it today. Maybe we'll mix it. I think we're just going to go for it. This is the e.l.f. 6 Hour Camel Concealer in Fair Rose. This is too light for me, so I'm hoping this won't look too freaking crazy. Look how too crazy, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I know that this foundation, see it's already starting to oxidize and I can see, <laughs> I'm just going to put some down here too to help blend that. I definitely do that all the time because I bring my foundation down pretty low to make sure it's blended, but then, oh no, we're just going with it guys. This is why I don't change up my stuff because I do this and then I'm like, girl, that doesn't look right. Because this guy is so super light on me, I'm going to take just a tiny, tiny bit of C10 from Revolution Conceal and Defined. This is obviously way too dark for me, but it's what I use to mix with my concealers when I am self-tanned. So hopefully that'll even it out just a tiny bit. I forgot how fast that e.l.f. concealer sets. Oh my goodness. We're not in shape cape land anymore. Ooh, she fair. It's blending out okay, but it's definitely way harder than normal to blend out because I waited. So I was sent these two Becca powders. They are the... Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. One is in Golden Bronze and I think the other one is just translucent. So I have been so curious about this powder so I'm so excited to try this. Look like this packaging is beautiful. Oh, fingerprint city, but we are going to use this guy today. Formulated with 50% water plus glycerin, this powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin. Ultra fine light reflecting powders float over skin to smooth blurred skin, fine lines and fractions. I don't know if there's a certain way I'm supposed to apply it. She exploded a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I'm just going to use this powder brush. This is by Moda. And I'm just gonna set, oh wow, that feels weird. It literally feels wet. I'm just gonna set my face. I assume you use it like a setting powder. That's cool that you can use it to like refresh your makeup. Ah, it feels like I'm putting water on my face. Guys, that looks so pretty. It takes a lot for me to be impressed with a powder. I just saw this sitting out. So we're gonna go with this guy because it's been so long since I've used this. This is the shade and light by Kat Von D. We're just gonna take this shade right here. I'm new to bronzing my forehead, so I'm not very good at it. Bear with me, guys. My forehead has been hidden by bangs for like a thousand years. 
at least it's a different shade. This is the Lumi Blush from Shop Masse in Delicate Pink. I feel like I always go overboard with this one. I feel like it like gives me more pigment faster than Ravish does. So for a highlight today, we're gonna use Lightning by I Heart Revolution. This one's got a little bit of glitter in it, which I'm cool with, but if you're not, oh, 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 oh. yes. I love these because like they're soft, but you can really amp them up. But anyway, I'm gonna hop off camera really quick and do my brows. I am just gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde. I am re-obsessed with this re-obsessed. And the brush that I've been loving to use it with is the small angle brush, the E65 from Sigma. So I'm gonna pop my brows on and be right back. Okay, so our brows are on. It's not my best brow day, but it's not my worst. So we're just gonna go with it. So we are gonna do a pretty simple eyeshadow, probably only one or two colors I'm thinking because we're gonna really focus on the wing. I think that I'm just gonna use this Revolution Marvelous Matte. Then I'm just going to start with this guy right here. We're just gonna buff that into the crease. I did just check Instagram. I'll check one more time right now so I can show you guys. Bluish is definitely winning. So that is what we are going to do. And this is just a BH Cosmetics blender brush. It comes in their essential eyes kit. I'm gonna take that same shade to the lower lash line. Okay, I think I wanna peach it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this guy right here. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the white shape, boop, 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 this guy, and put it on the brow bone. I'm gonna put a little bit of cut crease canvas on. I'm not gonna really do a full cut crease, I just kind of wanna brighten the inner corner, but I don't wanna use a lot of eyeshadow. So I'm just going to kind of brighten this inner corner a little bit and bring it up a little. So I guess it's, it's like a baby cut crease. Like we're gonna do a cut crease, but we're not really gonna do a cut crease. Does that make sense? Really, I'm just brightening my lid. Now I'm just gonna use that same brush and go into the white shade. I think I wanna add just like, I love that I was like talking about how I was going to keep this so simple. I think I'm gonna mix those two just to lighten up this one a little bit i just want a tiny bit of depth in that outer corner I'm just gonna go like get a bunch of this get a tiny of this get a bunch of this and i'm just gonna pop it right out here to just kind of try and add a little bit of depth before we go in with the wing i take just the tiniest bit of both of those and just pop it right out here All right, we are ready for the wing. All right, because the bluish <laughs> wing won, we are gonna use Prance and Zulu from ColourPop. So let's see how this goes. I think I'm gonna do Prance on the outside and Zulu on the inside. These are the OG ones, so they might be a little bit dry. So I'm just gonna spray some Super Fruit by Revolution on top of there. I like using this giant brush from AOA. It is the E114 to do a wing. I don't know why, don't ask me why, I don't know. It's kind of large and in charge, but I, it gives me a lot of control, I think, for the most part. Hmm. I mean, she's definitely there, but she's definitely pastel. For some reason, I thought this one was a little bit darker. There we go, that's a little better. Layer it up. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. I know she's a little wonky, but I'll definitely go back and fix it later. I'm just taking that about halfway into the lid because I'm going to ombre it with that Zulu liner. Okay, now we're going to take the Zulu. and put on some mascara and some lashes. I think today we're gonna use these Kiss Lashes in Pompadour. I'll be right back. Woo! Okay, this is what we are looking at. There's definitely a little bit of liner on my lashes, so I've been trying to get it, but 
we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna pop a little bit of a bright blue liner on my waterline. I wasn't planning to do this, but I saw this sitting there and I was like, girl, been having a lot of fun of putting bright shades on my waterline. They don't stay that well, but at least for like a little bit, it'll be good. You could always set it with a bright blue powder or something like that. Just adds a little bit extra pop of blue. Okay, we're gonna try out Sunnyside from ColourPop. It's one of their newer ultra matte lips. I'm gonna use a Sweat n Wild lip liner in Lay, Lay Down the Mauves. I am gonna lighten a little bit with concealer because you guys know it's what I do. I am very fair and I feel like nudes always pull so much darker on me and I, I just feel like this is too much of a contrast. So I am just gonna take a little bit of, I'm gonna grab my shape tape, it's usually the best one. I know it's a weird, I know it's weird, I know I'm weird. I already like it more. I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate chip cookie dough from I Heart Revolution, honestly one of my favorite glosses of all time. God, it smells. I know I say this every time, but it seriously smells so good. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and use the lightning highlight for my inner corner highlight. I can't believe I almost forgot to do this. Alright, love, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked it. It didn't really turn out exactly how I was hoping, uh, but it's not the worst. It's interesting. I don't know. It's something different for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy makeup tutorials and stuff like that. If you want more makeup videos, let me know down in the comments. And also, of course, give me a thumbs up so I know that you are excited about the makeup content on this channel. Alright, loves, I think that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I should use a different highlight, but I don't want to.